Hi everyone, I'm Jess from Referral Factory. Today I'm going to show you how to connect your HubSpot CRM with your referral program. This will allow you to add your contacts to a referral program and issue them with a unique referral link that you can send back into HubSpot and include in your existing workflows. You can also send your referred leads to HubSpot, qualify them when they convert, and see who needs to be issued with a reward. This will allow you to run a hassle-free referral campaign. To get started, head to your Settings tab to connect HubSpot with Referral Factory. Under the HubSpot option, click Connect. You will now be redirected to HubSpot to give authorization. Congratulations, your HubSpot account is now connected to Referral Factory. Once you've connected HubSpot to your Referral Factory account, it's time to build your campaign. Head to your Campaigns tab. You can either create a campaign from one of our templates, or you can create a campaign from scratch. Today, we're going to make one from scratch. You can customize the look and feel of your campaign so it looks 100% on brand. Our drag and drop builder allows you to add your own logo. You can add a background image or have a solid color. You can edit the font styling, change the button colors and the font colors. You can also add new text blocks such as titles, copy blocks, images, videos and more buttons. Step one of your campaign is where the people referring can sign up to get their unique referral links. You can also sync your HubSpot contacts and automatically add them to the campaign, but I'll explain more about that a little bit later. Once your referrers submit their details and click on the button to get their referral link, they will then be taken to step two. This is where your referrers will be issued with their unique referral links. You can include a message over here to show them what to do next. You can also choose which social media channels you'd like your users to be able to share across. Once you've chosen those, you can also include a share message, which is what will get sent with the link when your referrers share it with their friends. Once a referrer shares their link with their friend and their friend clicks on that link, they then get taken to step three. This is your opportunity to give your referred leads more information about your business. So be sure to include all of your unique selling points in this step. For example, If you'd like to capture more information about your referred leads, you can always add new form fields to this step. Once a referred user fills out these details and clicks on the button to submit their information, we can send these details through to your HubSpot account. Now that you have gathered the important details about your referred leads, it's time to decide on what they will see next. You can either redirect them to a landing page of your choosing where they can continue on your existing user journey. To do this, toggle on the redirect option, head to step four in your campaign builder and enter the URL that you want to send your users to. Alternatively, you can send your referred leads to a thank you page where you explain the next steps in the user journey. To do this, 
toggle on the create a different journey option head to step four of your campaign builder and explain the next steps After you've built your referral program, it's time to set up your HubSpot integration. To do that, head to the settings step inside your campaign builder, select HubSpot from the list of integrations, and choose the property you want to use to qualify your referrals. Then, define what the status of the referred lead will be when they enter HubSpot. In this example, I'm going to choose a marketing qualified lead. Then, define what the status of the referred lead must change to in order to count as a conversion. For now, we're going to make that a customer. Lastly, choose which type of user you want to send to HubSpot. In order to make sure your referred leads get sent to HubSpot, select the referred users option. The final step in setting up your HubSpot integration is to map out the data fields that you want to collect and send to HubSpot when your referred lead is added as a contact. Keep in mind that HubSpot requires you to send through the first name and email address of your contact, so make sure you map those fields out correctly. You can also choose to send through the referred lead's referral link as well as the name and email address of the person who referred them. Remember, you will need to create these properties in HubSpot first before you can send this information through. Referral Factory also has its own built-in email notifications. The first email notifications are triggered when a person referring or a person invited joins your referral program. The second email notifications are sent to the person referring and the person invited when a referral converts. These are triggered when you qualify a referral by updating the contact status in HubSpot. The reminder emails are triggered based on the intervals you select from the drop-down menu available. To edit these email notifications, go to the email notification step in your campaign builder. Click on the drop-down menu and select the email you want to edit. You can edit the subject line, add more content blocks, more images, videos, and even buttons. This will allow you to send emails that are in line with your brand and 100% on messaging. When you've finished setting up your HubSpot integration and are happy with your campaign, it's time to launch it and start getting referrals. Click on the last step on your progress bar at the bottom called Publish and click the Publish button. After you've published your campaign, you will get a campaign link and various other campaign outputs such as a widget, a QR code and an embed code. These are all outputs that you can use to promote your referral campaign and get more referrals. After your campaign has been published, you can sync your HubSpot contacts with your referral campaign, which will allow you to automatically add contacts to the campaign and issue them with a unique referral link, which you can then send back into HubSpot. This will allow you to use your existing workflows to encourage your contacts to make referrals. To add your customers from HubSpot to your referral campaign, click on the Add Contacts button. Select if you want to sync all contacts or just a specific list. If you choose a specific list, then select the list you'd like to use. If you're happy with the list you've added, hit the Next button. Select which property or field you'd like the referral link to be sent to. And if you'd like this function to be ongoing, switch on this toggle. Click Save when you're done. As you can see, your users have now been added to HubSpot with their referral link. 
if you head over to your HubSpot account and have a look at the users in your list, you'll now see that their referral links have been added to their contact. Let's see what that journey would look like live. For example, if your customer John were to share his referral link with one of his friends, let's say Stacy, Stacy would be able to click on John's link and come to this landing page where she could join the referral program. Once Stacy clicks on this button, her details will be sent through to HubSpot and a contact will be created. Now, let's jump back into HubSpot and see what happens. We can see that when Stacy joins the referral program, she is aut automatically added as a contact in HubSpot. Qualifying a referral when they convert can be easily done by updating a simple status change in HubSpot. For example, once Stacy becomes a customer, all we need to do is go into a lifecycle stage, update her status to customer, click save, head back to Referral Factory. And as we can see, Stacy has now been qualified. We also update the Referrals Converted column for John to show that he has one successful conversion or referral and should be issued a reward. Visit www.referral-factory.com to start your free trial.